beauties and welcome back to the beauty room so I actually have a little something I want to share with you guys today something that I recently found well not really say recently and it's something I've been wanting to try and especially since you guys apparently love the last nail video I did so while we get ready let's see what I got for you guys today so like I said before, since you guys loved the last nail video I did for this channel, I decided let's bring it back to nails. So I want to share with you guys something nice, cute, pastel and bright. And I'm talking about the Olive and June and Ziva collection. If you guys don't know, Ziva is Nabella Noor's brand. And for example, she has like t-shirts. <laughs> And then she also has like sweaters and stuff it's her own personal brand she has like her different sizing and everything but now she since she's always been about like self-confidence and then accepting yourself for who you are so she has now collabed with olive and june and they have this little nail collection they have different packages but it's pretty much all the same colors it's like each set just depends on which accessories it comes with but the one I have is actually just the nail polishes and let me t show you guys real quick what it is so in the collection you have one two three four five six seven nail polishes which are all these colors right here and let me give you one by one which ones they are so this one right here which is like the yellow it is bright and focused this minty looking one is honest and true Sorry if I don't memorize these names, but I'm going one by one. We have Wild and Free, which is this nice little peachy pink. And then we have Grateful and Kind, which is this pink one. Then we have like this lavender purplish, which is bold and unshaken. Then we have Sweet and Gracious, which is this one. And then last but not least, we have Fierce and Loving, which is this one. Which kind of reminds me of the first Zebo shirt she released when she first introduced the brand. This reminds me of the color of the t-shirts. So yeah, it's these nail polishes. And as you can see, I have my eyeshadow palette holding onto them. So that way you can see them nice and perfect. So those are the colors. And then it also comes with a top coat so I pretty much picked up just the, the basic set which is just like the nail polishes and then the top coat but there's other like boxes and sets depending on what you feel more comfortable and what you want so those are the nail polishes and then let me show you guys real quick how I did the application and then I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts on it but let me show you my first impressions of and how the whole process went on doing my nails so I want to give a quick update on the jelly tips. They are officially off on both hands. As you can see, they come off pretty easily. But the easiest way to get them off is to cut off like the actual of the tip. And then once you reach it towards what's on your natural nail, just soak whatever's left into nail polish remover and it's a quick easy removal from there. You see this now? It's a little bruised because that one did fly off before I was able to take it off, so it did hurt the nail a little bit. But other than that, just dip them into nail polish remover and it should be easy and quick. And as usual, we're going to start off by filing off the nails. I'm doing it this time, especially since I just had the jelly tips on. That way we could take off any damage left over from the bonder and the jelly tips. And that way it creates a smoother application for when I do start doing every single process and put on the nail polish. And that way it looks much, much smoother. And here we are removing any dust left over from the filing and that way we have a nice clean nail to move forward with. Oh 
And now we're going to repeat the process again on your other hand so that way if you have again a nice smooth process, a nice smooth application moving forward. So now moving forward to the next part of the process, as you can see my nails aren't necessarily even since we just had jelly tips, but we're going to even them out so that way they don't look like a little bit crooked or uneven. They they've grown nicely on their own as you can see, but I want to even them out so that way they don't look weird. And since we just had the jelly tips on, I like how they've grown on their own. And this is when I do like to showcase my natural nail growth and be able to actually showcase a nice, cute looking nail polish on my nails. So it's always important to make sure you fire your nails so that way they grow nice and healthy and they're not going on top of each other or uneven growth. Now that I have finished filing my nails to make sure they were nice and even, I am moving forward to the next step and adding a nail hardener. I like to use a nail hardener as my first step before I move over to the next one because I like to protect my nail growth and that way it keeps your nail together and helps you from not chipping it after you've done your nails over because you do not want to go into 5 seconds into having your nails done and having it break and chip. So I definitely like to use a nice nail hardener to keep them all together. And now we're going to move on to the next hand and repeat the same process again. Once again, I like to use this product, the nail hardener, to make sure you protect your nails throughout the whole time you have them done. And that way you still have nice nail growth as they continue growing. And to help speed up the drying process, I always like to use a nice portable fan, not only for it to speed up the process, but that way you don't get a messy application. And now we move forward to the base coat and apply it to both hands, so that way it's a nice transition before you apply your full nail polish on. And you possibly heard him in the background, but my dog wanted to make a cameo, so say hi, Bucks. Once again, repeating the process on my other hand so we have a nice application moving forward. Now I'm using again the portable fan to make sure this base coat dries nice and neatly so that way we don't smudge the nail polish when we move on forward to the next part. And now we move on to the nail polish portion. So on my pinky I decided to use the mint color which is called Honest and True. Um, for this time we're to test each color out, well almost each color, we're going to put a different color on each finger. So there's the mint. And now moving on to the ring finger, I've decided to use bold and unshaken. And as you'll be able to see, bold and unshaken is a nice purple shade, more like a lavender. And then moving on to the 
middle finger, I've decided to use the pink one, which is grateful and kind. And then you'll be able to see how the pink one looks as well. And then for the, what I like to say is the index finger, I'm going to use the yellow bright and focused. And then last but not least, on my thumb, I will be using Sweet and Gracious, which is a nice orange. It's not too bright, but it's definitely a nice looking orange. And then here are the nails after one coat. I definitely like how it looks so far with one. But then we're going to go repeat the process on the other hand, and then later on go to a second coat just for topping. And just to repeat on this second hand, I'm going to repeat the same process over with the same colors on each nail. So that way they look the same as the first hand. Then here are both hands completely done. Nice and pretty, right? And to top all things off and wrap up the process, we're gonna go in with the Olive and June top coat. This does come in the set, and it's the finishing piece to this whole process. I'm going to recommend that you just go with the top coat with one pass. Don't overdo it. Just go with Oh, once. And then here are the nails after the top coat. They look the same nice and bright. And we're going to dry them off one more time. And here's the finished product. Hey guys, welcome back. So that was a little bit how I did the whole application. It's typically how I tend to do my nails. You know, the whole each step leading up to the nail polish so I hope that's kind of helpful if anything for you guys um, I also wanted to fill in you guys with the update before this whole thing started about the jelly tips following up from the last video and to kind of explain how the removal process was and that way it was easier to apply the nail polishes that I show you guys in this one so overall thoughts I do feel like it's a nice little collection. Like I said, I bought the kit without all the accessories. It depends on what you like. So here they are one more time without the top coat, but it does come with a top coat. So here we go one more time. And it's been about a week now. I waited a little bit of time so that way I could give you like a full, full on honest opinion about them. So, like I said, it's been a week, so here we go. There's been some nail growth. Let me see if I can show you guys, there we go. Because you'll be able to see how some of the polish isn't like all the way towards the end anymore. There we go somewhat. And at the same time, you see how there's one little chip there. And then this one has like some chip right there. But overall, I did like the application. It goes on smooth. And like a lot of the colors with just one coat, it's just like right there popping. And it just, I feel like with these, you don't necessarily need a second coat. But 
I personally chose to go with two coats for each color just to make them a little more I don't want to say bright but to make them stand out a little bit more but for a week considering everything I've been doing for the past couple of days I want to say the wear isn't that bad and like I said I like how it, with one coat pretty much on right from the start it it does its job and I love these colors and when I did it I decided just to pretty much try as many as I could on my nails still keeping the pattern on both of them and I, I don't know I feel like this is the trend currently you know with the different colors trying to create like a whole rainbow process but I did want to do it just to test out the colors but I did like I was gonna do the application just to let you guys know but I ended up staying with it because I did like the whole color scheme and like the design of the different colors but like I said I do like how it's quick application it's quick drying it really hasn't chipped as much because normally with other nail polishes I feel like I've had to go more than two coats even up to four coats because a lot of them are sheer these are not sheer they're nice and opaque and they just pop and another thing I want to share with you guys I don't know if you'll be able to read it right here it says seven free so if you're more like on the whole friendlier side if I want if that sounds correct like where you care about what certain ingredients go into your products this is definitely good to know in consideration the seven free because it has like doesn't include certain ingredients like other certain nail polishes and it's not gonna be as damaging and harmful and it's more like you know what I mean so overall I do love this set I like the application and I say yes because like I said, for the for what I've been doing, it's not that chipped. This is the most chipped nail I have right now. And it's just like the tip tip. Oh yeah, and then this one. But overall, it's pretty good. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have any other questions, you know, you can always hit me up. If you want to see anything else in a future video, let me know in the comments. As always, you can hit me up on social media, which I have listed down below. And then I'll see you guys next time in the video. Bye, beauties.